Market expectations for global growth in 2014 were fairly elevated coming into this year, both an acceleration in US economic growth and in particular European economic growth with broad-based stability in the emerging markets were expected to boost global output from a 2% growth rate in 2013 to a 25 to 3% growth rate in 2014. But global growth is off to a slow start. Here in the US, partly due to a very harsh winter and partly due to a slowdown in the housing market, the US economy is likely to have shrunk by 2% of GDP in the first quarter, which is likely to make the first half of 2014 only a 1% growth half. In the Eurozone, growth in the first quarter is coming in slightly below expectations with expectations of one to one and a half percent growth being slightly disappointed with actual growth coming in between three quarters to one percentage point. And then finally in China, growth in the first quarter was particularly disappointing with an annualized growth rate in the 5% handle versus expectations of seven to seven and a half percent growth. Now, what does this mean for the year going forward? We still expect that the U.S. economy will grow by 2.5% this year, which is perhaps a shade slower than the 25 to 3% range that we were expecting coming into the year. And in China, with policy being loosened, both currency policy, monetary policy, as well as fiscal policy, we do expect the first quarter growth rate to be the low point of the year, and that and that, and that the Chinese economy will produce 65 to 7% growth, which is about what we expected coming into the year. These are the people that we all represent Investing together. in European fixed income. Oh, we're very positive. The economy is globalizing the market.